it's your boy, Levon Kaysen. and I'm back again with another video. And as you can see here, we're going to read this article. The Wii U's dead, bring on the NX. Nintendo, we are looking at to the future this E3. At least, I hope they were. Well, we were expecting that too. At the Nintendo's E3 pre presentation confirmed anything, is that the company is actually aware that the Wii U's all but done, which is true. Having to satisfy gamers after yesterday's incredible announcement from Sony was never going to be an easy task. Well, no, not really. After they announced Shemu, Final Fantasy VII, all them games, and the fact that they just run those back just just killed it alone, just killed Microsoft alone. But anyways, but today's efforts from Nintendo was underwhelmed. But today's efforts from Nintendo underwhelmed massively. Yes, it did. The main games featured for the Wii U system were Star Fox Zero, Yoshi's Woolly World, Super Mario Maker, Xenoblade Chronicles X. All four titles were showcased last year's event. The absence of new meaningful content for the company's current home systems was crippling obvious. It, it's the successor, and its successor, the NX, can't come quickly enough, which is true. They need it. They need to come out with the NX at late 2016 or early 2017. One of those two. There was no surprise appearance from the Legend of Zelda for Wii U. Hype screens for an F Zero, Decom Racing, or Metroid title remain just that. There wasn't even a fully fledged Animal Crossing or New 3D Mario to talk. Well, they only put out one 3D Mario per console, so yeah. And as for the Animal Crossing, it wasn't even fully fledged. It was like a slap to the face for Animal Crossing fans. The same can be said for that Metroid game that was announced for the 3DS. That was just a plain slap in the face. That was just a plain slap in the face. But let's continue. The Wii's landscape were almost completely devo devoid of any promise for the for for the future. Yes, it was. The lack of any AAA titles on the horizon for the system must surely call into question the likelihood of its next big game even making it to the console. Legend of Zelda Wii U has been in development for a long time. It was indefinitely a few months ago. Many have speculated that it may end up as a launch title for Nintendo's Wii U placement. While that would disappoint Wii U own owners, it would be an understandable move. Okay, look. Look at that. Look at this game. This game looks so ugly. This new Star Fox. It just looks so freaking ugly. That's what it is. It just looks so ugly. I feel like Nintendo didn't care for Star Fox. They didn't want to make it. Because it definitely shows in the graphics department. And a little bit in the gameplay department personally. But anyways, keep reading. It would make sense for Nintendo to focus on giving the NX. Assuming it's, it is a home console. A lot of people are assuming that. But I don't know if it's going to be a home console. I think it's going to be a hybrid or a handheld or maybe a home console, one of those three. But I'm definitely, but I'm kind of thinking that it's going to be a hybrid just because of some of the things that Nintendo said about the architecture, easy, easier to port games from the handheld to the console, things like that. Okay. The strongest launch, let's keep reading. The strongest launch lineup possible. If that means passing over the Wii U with Zelda, Mario, or Metroid title, so be it. Which is, yeah. Varying Sony's offer offerings for the future of the PS4 and what Nintendo serve up to Wii U on is... Ugh, let me read that again. What Nintendo served up to Wii U owners is almost painful. 
Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 7, Shenmue 3 won't be out anytime soon, but it seems like when they are released, the Wii will be out of action. Console has failed miserably in terms of sales, which is true. Despite the stellar lineup of first party titles, and Nintendo can't afford another flop, another flop with the NX if they are uh, if they are to stay relevant. They got a lot of money, but they but they can't afford another flop flop for gamers, because otherwise they are they are coming. In fact, they are relevant to gamers. They are. Today's anemic E3 offering might actually offer some hope for Nintendo fans. Perhaps the company is putting all its eggs in a basket, basket labeled NX and will be ready to come out firing this time next year. I hope. If not, then the future isn't just bleak for Nintendo. It could, it could be almost non-existent. Okay. Here's what I think they should do for the NX if it's a home console or whatever. They should ask third-party developers what specs do they want for the system. What type of RAM, what type of CPU, what type of GPU, stuff like that. They should, they should ask third-party developers. And also they should apologize to them for all the crap that they have done to them like you know in the past that Nintendo used to you know in the past things like that but um and also what they need is is um hmm, oh why am I doing this but anyways what they need is a uh, big launch titles like a 3D Mario Metroid F0 they need a better online infrastructure. They need, they need to have all the features. Cross game chats, live streaming, everything. And they need to freaking advertise the system. And as far as the, the looks of the console goes, that don't matter to me. It doesn't really matter how it looks. But um, yeah, it just needs to have everything for this console. All the features that PlayStation, Xbox has the architecture, everything, and and the, for the first party, just continue what they be doing. Just keep continuing what you're doing. Be more original, and put some more mature IPs like another Devil's Third or something. They might be pointing at to the NX. You may never know, but yeah, here's that's what I think. The Wii U is officially dead. Nintendo just killed it. It's done. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is the Wii U dead to you? See you guys later. Peace.